Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel. It's Yushima and if you're new here, I create fashion, lifestyle, and home decor videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing, like, comment, share, do all the good things because I would love to have you back. So today's video is first of many. I don't think I've ever done a luxury collective haul. Maybe I have, I don't know. But I don't think I have. So this is first of many. And I'll be featuring some luxury high-end purchases and a few low-end affordable pieces for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing what I've added to my collection, then continue watching. So I don't know if many of you guys know, but I recently celebrated a birthday and I was able to cross a few things off of my luxury wish list. So I'll be sharing that with you guys. And I have accumulated some pieces over a few months, so I'll be adding those in here as well. Now, it's not a lot of things. I'm very particular with things that I've been adding into my wardrobe, trying to be intentional now that I kind of have like, um, a walk-in closet system so I've been very particular and specific with the pieces that I have that I'm adding to my closet so we'll just get right into it now I have divided the pieces that I've added into categories so I think I have about four categories that I will be sharing with you guys and the first category is jewelry now <laughs> I am not a big wearer of jewelry I like minimal pieces I don't like things to be like too much I like to keep them very dainty I know there are trends happening right now with the jewelry but I need to stay true to myself and what I know I'll wear I know some things you know you need to just add a little pop for me I like very dainty pieces so the first item that I'll be sharing with you guys are these Dior earrings that I've been low-key having on my wish list. Not that I've shared that with anyone, but I've had my eye on these for about maybe a year or so. And as of I think April, I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna get these for my birthday. I was gonna buy them for myself for my anniversary, but I decided not to. <laughs> and um, I was kind of changing my mind about them, but then my birthday came around I was like you know what I'm still thinking about these I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get them and so I did and they came in this cute little box I kind of did like a little bit like of a tease on my Instagram so if you're not following me over there you are missing out on the unboxings and all the good stuff so they came in this little cute little you know earring pouch and I still have the tag like I keep tags of the things that I buy myself because at, there was a point in time when I really could not afford these for myself or didn't imagine that I would have them for myself. So the fact that I can actually buy them for myself, um, it means a lot. So I keep the tags and I write my myself little um, affirmations on the gift cards because whenever you buy luxury, they give you an option to write like... Um, notes if it's a gift you could write like a little you know on the gift cards so you can write yourself a note or if you're getting the gift for someone you can write a note for them I just write myself these little affirmations um, that I have right here so these are all like the cards that I have saved I'm doing a little affirmation wall so I have these out to add to my wall so that you know whenever I walk in um, I can just, you know, read myself these affirmations. So, like, whenever I buy luxury items, um, I suggest that you write yourself little affirmations, especially if this is something that you've been wanting to achieve for yourself. Um, it's always good to remind yourself, you know, how far you've come. So, I do that whenever I buy myself luxury items. I don't know why I share that, but that's, that's that. But this is how the earring looks in my ear and I really really love wearing them they're very subtle and I didn't tell you guys what they what the name of them are they're the city stud CD as in Kristen Dior um, stud earrings and they're like gold they're pretty pricey but I know I have these for a while and so this is the first item that I got 
I have an Amazon storefront now and all of the next few jewelry pieces that I'll be sharing with you guys, I got them from Amazon. So yes, your girl, you know, likes the highs and the lows as well. So uh, this a necklace, it's very dainty. It's it has like cubic zirconia. And I really like the necklace, it's really, really cute, like very subtle. And these, my little stack, my little cute little affordable stack of Cartier's cousins and um, <laughs> the Van Cleef girls. So yeah, this is my little stack. Like I said, this is linked in my Amazon storefront. So if you're interested in you know being a baddie on a budget, then you can definitely head over there and get yourself. A cute little stack of your own and um, as well as this ring these are like gold fill gold fill or gold plate I'm not too, not quite sure these are super cute and these are all under I think like $30 and I've been wearing these for I, I've got these since I want to say about April and um, they and I don't really take them off <laughs> I don't take them off um, and I shower in them and I, they haven't turned or anything so I really think these are good for for the price so the next category that we're gonna get into is the bag category and let's just say some made it and stayed and some had to go back to sender so let's get into those first and then I'll, I'll show you what actually made it and stayed so the first bag that I added to my collection that didn't make it was the Coach Pillow Tabby. I know you guys may have seen it all over my Instagram, but here's the tea about that, right? So when the, the Coach um, Pillow Tabby first came out, I think I want to say about maybe a year or two ago, I really wanted it, but then I went to the store and I just didn't, I, I think I, I like bags that has a little bit more structure and the bigger one I'm not sure what size it is it's the 20 or I don't know how big it is it's, it's, but it's the bigger one the one that initially came out before they went to the mini I tried it on it didn't fit me and recently they did this new colorway where it's like an ombre so they have this in like blue to green and then they have like an orange to pink type of ombre situation but then I fell in love with this type of watercolor ombre where it has oh, I'll show you guys a picture because of course you guys know what I'm talking about because it's <laughs> it was all over my Instagram I, I don't think I, I thought it through um, well enough and so when I purchased it I was like on the fence about it so I returned it <laughs> and I got it again so so I bought this bag twice I bought it the first time it was on sale probably like a week later I decided you know what I'm not gonna keep it because I, I felt like there was just it just wasn't me and I really didn't want to force it and I found that I was trying to force myself to actually love it so once it came the first time I wasn't too in love but I already had an outfit in mind so I wore the outfit and then the second time it was you know okay it was like the bag that I had so um, after that I was like you know what this this is not for me um, I, I like bags that are, that is a little bit more structured and the colorway that I picked like when I look at it in my closet it just wasn't vibing with um, much of the other things that I that I have in my closet and so I decided to return it again and it was a good price too I returned it and I don't regret it <laughs> I really don't and then the second bag that I purchased which was for my birthday uh, was from fashion file I was like you know what this 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 time I'm gonna go and get my first Chanel I looked to the side and I saw that I didn't think to look at the sizing when I purchased the bag I just saw the bag up against the mannequin and I was like okay it looks like it, it's you know good proportion it, it looked big enough for me it looked like a really good size vanity bag when I actually got the bag a few days later I was like wow <laughs> this is a small bag like I like small bags but that one I couldn't really it, it just wasn't meeting the value the value of the bag the price I paid 
it working into my wardrobe yet my cost for wear I wouldn't have reached for it as much yes it's Chanel but Chanel is on hold until further notice I returned it and got another bag and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys All right, so this bag I got for my birthday per hubby and it came in this cute little box it's from Gucci guys I love this color so much and I am so glad to have it here this is the, the green that that really like speaks to me I love this the detail on this box is just amazing I'm happy to have it <laughs> the box alone is just enough for me but not really the bag came in this little duster situation so you could use this for travel I love the tissue paper that it comes with it also came with a complimentary um, little tote which I've been using to just do random stuff. I took the tag off on this one because I know she was meant to be. And all the things that comes with a luxury purchase. And I'm going to show you the bag now. And this is the bag that I got from Gucci. Now, yes, this is small as well, but you know what? It could hold my phone, it could hold my keys, it could hold my card holder, it could hold a lip gloss, it could hold a pen, it can hold all my essentials, and I love the color. This is a very all-season bag. You can wear this throughout uh, fall and winter and spring and summer because of the details the hardware everything about this bag is just amazing and this is the Gucci Haas bit 1955 mini and she is amazing so you can see the gold hardware on there so this is a magnet magnetic closure um, when you put it in it literally just adheres to the bag because there's a magnet there and this is the inside as you can see I already have all my things in there I have my wallet I have my keys why do I have two keys in here I have another um, key and my phone can actually fit in here as well with some maneuvering hold on just move some things around so my phone could fit in there as well, my keys, and I have a lip gloss that can just go right here, and you close it, and what else do you need in your bag? Nothing. And this is actually my first Gucci bag, so I'm very, very happy to have her in my collection, and I will be wearing her to death all fall long, all winter. Um, I love that it's a crossbody, so this goes over like that, and that looks really, really good. And that's all. It, it, it doesn't have any extra pockets on the inside. And this, I want to say, is a very affordable luxury bag. This was under twelve hundred dollars, even with taxes. Like if you're interested. I'll definitely leave the link below for this. Check it out. Love it. I don't think you can find this in store because my husband and I went into the Gucci store um, in City Center, Washington, D.C. And I was looking for this and I didn't see it. So the next item that I picked up, which you guys just basically saw, is this card holder from YSL. And my husband also bought this for me <laughs> um, for our anniversary. So this was really nice. It holds all the cards that I need. Very snug so nothing falls out of this. I have like two ID cards, two credit cards, um, my debit card, and another card. Oh, my Sephora like VIB card. So really love this and I really love the quality I've 
kind of had this on my wish list as well that I've never shared with anyone but I needed to upgrade my um, card holder I had this one from Kate Spade really really good quality It's actually still in really good condition so um, I love that but I wanted something a little bit more elevated and so the next bag that I've added to my collection um, a few months ago I want to say I got this in April like yeah in April and it's this bag from Stowed or Stod. you guys may have seen this in my um, anniversary vlog or 24 hours in New York vlog this holds quite a lot as well I love the structure it's like the it's a stod mini moon bag and I love this color uh, it goes with a lot of things in my wardrobe I am thinking about getting the black one or the brown one I already have a lot of brown bags, so I think I may get the black one but I really really love this color and um, I think I may get the black one for fall because I need a black bag for fall since I returned the Chanel bag um, but I love this because it also has the cross body and though the shape is very circular I can hold all my essentials in here and then some I could add like my hand cream in addition to all the things that I just showed you in my um, Gucci uh, Hospit mini uh, so yeah I really love this this one was pretty affordable I got this via Farfetch and I really 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 like it this one has a suede lining on the inside, very neutral, gold hardware, um, this clasp. I really like the size of this bag and like I said, I think I may go and get the black one as well because I really love it. And for the price, the quality, it's definitely worth it. I was so happy when I got this. I wore, I wore it immediately. So those are all the bags that I've added to my collection as of recent. We're now going to get into um, some hats. I've added three of these hats. We're just going to get into the one that I got recently. So we all know about the RB hats, the Rustam Baginski hats, so we really love those. Now this one I got in a size large because of the first two that I purchased were a little bit tight on my head. I forgot that I have a big head. Like how could I forget that? I'll try it on so you guys can see it on. I really, really love the edginess that these hats bring to my outfit whenever I choose to wear them. This one is perfect for summer. Um, when I first got this, I think I wore it like literally the next day. Um, I sold my Lack of Colors straw hat and I replaced it with this one because this one was more me. The straw hat was like wide. Um, I just wasn't reaching for it. I knew it was because it was just like too wide and I wanted something a little bit more, uh, I guess structured, a little bit more edgy, a little more, a little bit more like fashion forward and I really, really like this hat. It's, it's really good. This one I ordered directly from the site and it took super long to get here but it was definitely worth it uh, once it uh, came. And as you can see, it, it's made out of like straw, which is really, really good. The detailing, everything, it really looks like a, a basket. So really like that. And it doesn't smell like some straw hats does. And it has that lining. So like the straws like from the hat doesn't like poke you in your scalp if you're interested i will definitely leave the link for the hats below i think these hats are really really good if you want to edge up your style if you want to look a little bit more fashion forward i think they're pretty affordable for the quality that you get so and they also have like really good deals as well so this one i think i got like a 10 or 20 percent off when i purchased it and if you get them from uh farfetch far Farfetch also has like random sales so you gotta really really um, be on it because that's how I got this one. This one they had like a 20% off sale on Farfetch and I think the regular price for these are like 200 and something so I, I got a really 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 good deal so love that for me. So this one is a size medium and it does 
this thing at the front that I don't quite like and I want to believe it's because it's too small for me so this is how this one looks on now this would be perfect for fall because because of the colors because of the material this is like a wool material this is a patent leather and I really like how that looks from the side like I'm really good on my side profile my side profile is what I'm into <laughs> uh, but yeah I think it's a little bit too small I would definitely go up a size I'm thinking about selling this and just buying a bigger size so if you're interested in this one or the one that I'm about to show you um, definitely slide into my DMs and we can work out a price but I feel like my size in these hats are large just fit more a little bit more comfortable and so it won't have like that dent in the middle so let me know if you're interested the next one is also a medium this one does not have like emblem or the logo on it at all so it's very low-key but this one was very costly because it's it's leather it's leather so this one is like all black this one is also very cute for fall winter we love it do you guys see the elevation like every single hat that I've tried on so I think I want to get a navy blue and I think I want to get a black with like gold hardware seat but I love these hats if you guys do not know I love hats I have a lot of hats in my collection and adding this brand to my hat collection has definitely up my hat game I think um, I would get hats from like Amazon I would I used to kill lack of colors I have like probably like three hats <laughs> from them already and a few from Amazon but yeah really really love this brand and those have been added to my collection those are all the hats that I have and we already talked about the bags now we're gonna get into some shoes so let's get into that all right so the first pair of shoes that I want to share with you guys is a Jimmy Choo dupe you guys probably would have seen this already because I've shared this on my Instagram and I know some of you have already shopped the link for these and I hope you're enjoying them because I really really like these shoes and these are what they are as you can see is that PVC colored vibe and neon colors are going to be all the rave for fall winter like these bright colors i've been watching like um fall winter fashion shows for all those fashion houses i recently watched the one for valentino i checked one out for gucci like they're all having like these pops of like bright colors to the looks and i really really fell in love with this because i've been seeing like the celebrities the you know influencers other bloggers just wearing these and i was like you know what i'm not sure how much wear i'll get it out of it if i love this for a long time so I'm, i don't want to invest i don't want to invest the coin into the shoe if i'm not gonna be in love with it like for a very long time and so especially with colors like these because i know myself i get like although i love green this neon green is not a color that I will love forever. So this is one way to get in on a trend without breaking the bank. And like I said, I went the dupe route and this has been linked in my Amazon storefront if you're interested. And um, whenever I do heels, I definitely always go up a size. So I usually wear nine, but for heels, I go up a whole size. So this is actually a size 10. and. These are actually pretty good to walk in, but not for a very long time. I wore these on a birthday dinner um, with my husband and we did the dinner and we walked around a bit. And after walking around for like maybe, I want to say an hour, I was like over it. I was like ready to go in the car. My feet, the ball of my feet, not the size or anything, but the ball of my feet um, was a little bit like under pressure <laughs> but for the look the look is worth it so the next item that I want to share with you guys are these dad sandals from Arizona love it's 
the denim vibe these are super comfortable i think i shared these with you guys um in a vlog recently but i really really wanted to just highlight them again in this video because they're really comfortable and i know we're heading into fall cold cooler weather so i probably won't get much more wear out of these until probably next summer season denim goes with just about everything and these are super super comfortable to wear and for the price that i paid for these i think it's actually pretty worth it um so yeah i got them in a size nine got these through barfish like i said the brand is arizona love and they're very very comfortable so yeah i like these i like these a lot you guys know how i've been into like dad sandals for a very long time so this is my thing if this is not your thing then that's okay that's all i have to say about that the next and last pair of shoe <laughs> that i want to share with you guys that i've recently added to my collection is a pair of shoes that i've been wanting and that i've shared with you guys in a i think blog post when i used to blog a little bit more but it's these dior jador slingbacks and there's a story behind uh, this shoe like i said i've been wearing this for a very long time i've haven't worn them yet i am thinking about wearing them today but it's raining outside and the material might not allow me to wear them i don't want to get them wet on their first day out so i may have to switch up my shoe option for tonight's date but these are the shoe now when i first decided to get them i ordered them um online and like i said i like to go up a size whenever i'm wearing heels so it doesn't matter if it's a heel that's like closed or a open back heel like this a sling back uh, i'll always go up a size right so uh, originally i wear a size 39 uk so i went up to a 40. so when the shoe came i realized that they were like still a little bit too tight like they fit but they were a little tight my heel was like off a bit in the back not like noticeably to me enough to say like i'm spending a little bit too much money to have these and they not fit properly so immediately i was like you know what um since we're going to be heading into town into dc um the following day i was like you know what? i'm just gonna go and take this to the store and um hopefully get them exchanged while i'm you know at the store with a bigger size got to the store and the store don't do exchanges if they were ordered online so i had to do the exchange um via online and wait like another week and a half for them to get the correct pair but i was able to try on the actual size if you are interested in this shoe definitely you're gonna need to go up two sizes now i don't have wide feet i think i have you know not narrow feet my feet are not narrow at all um but they're definitely not wide so that's why i was like i'll go up a size but these shoe in specifically this is what the um uh, sales associate said when i went and tried the shoe on in store she said these cut very narrow so where you may have had to go up a size in other shoes you have to go up at least two sizes with these in order for them to fit comfortably so that's what i did and i love them they're very comfortable to wear um at least for me and um i'm very happy to have this in my collection as well this was also a birthday gift from the hubby so thank you babe we love them it's a classic and i plan on wearing these all fall i love i love i love the quality and it was definitely worth the wait for these those are all the shoes that i've added to my collection and of the very last category that i want to share with you guys is the fragrance category because you have to smell good as well okay smelling good is important and we don't want you to stick with just one a few scents we need you to add as you elevate you're going to need to elevate your fragrance palette as well and so that's what i did with these two fragrances so the first one is one that i knew i was going to get from i want to say since about may 
I went into Neiman Marcus and when I went and purchased my Delina fragrance, I also sampled a few other fragrances and I was like, you know what? It's not bad after all. When I first sampled it, I was like, I don't know if that's, that's for me. And then I sampled it again and I was like, yes, I think I'm going to start with the oil. <laughs> so the first scent that I added to my collection, and this was a birthday gift for myself. The next two fragrances is actually a birthday gift to myself. So I got the Baccarat Rouge from Mason Francis Kirk Jean, but I got it in an oil because the oil lasts a long time and you get that sheen. Oh, it's perfection. It's so good. This smells really, really good. It's very subtle, but it's la it lasts longer. I know some people said it's strong, but it's actually not, at least not for me. And I really love the oil. I'm going to wear this tonight. And I'm going to layer it with, I don't know yet. But this is definitely going to be a base for whatever fragrance that I choose to wear. I think I may wear my Dior. So this is going to be the base. And I really, really love this. And it doesn't stain your clothes. It's an oil, but it doesn't stain your clothes. And I love that for $90. $90 it's perfection so I picked this um, oil up at Bloomingdale's and you guys may have seen me walk in there in the vlog this is what I walked out with I love her so I am gonna get the actual fragrance eventually but the oil is a really good starter if you're trying to get your your you know foot into niche fragrances and I really really love love this scent um, I may do like a more in-depth um, review on this so if you're interested let me know all right so the next fragrance that I want to share with you guys and this is the very last item that I've added to my collection and it's the Hermes Twilly in um, ginger and this scent is so good this it, it's it's giving fresh it's giving lady it's giving nice it's giving nice lady it's giving fresh nice lady i got the biggest size in this because i was so surprised that this was just so affordable on the Hermes side i was shocked like i love the bottle too it's really cute but this smells really really good the first time i wore it my son was like mom you smell nice and who doesn't love compliments from your children <laughs> so I really love this scent. It was really affordable and this was the last item that I purchased uh, for my birthday and uh, she is definitely a keeper. I really love the scent. Um, I wore it on my birthday and I love it. It's, 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 it's fresh, it's subtle, it, it says that you, you know what you're talking about when you talk about it but I really, really love how it smells and like I said, it, it's affordable as well. So, yeah. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My luxury high-low collection video. So, if you want to see more videos like this, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. If you're adding anything new to your collection going into fall, I do have a few things on my fall wish list that I want to add. Not a lot but just enough to give the edge that I need for fall because that's what that's what we're doing for fall all right guys so that is the end of my collective haul thank you so much for watching if you really enjoyed this video definitely give the video a thumbs up let me know in the comments if um, you'll be getting any of these pieces that I've shared with you guys or you know what have you added to your collection recently I will be very interested to know um, again thank you so much for watching continue to be your beautiful self and I'll see you guys next time.